beautiful day to be inside in the tropical glass house. It's absolutely pelting it down there. So this plant here is Pseudohydrosme gabonensis, a rare and endangered plant endemic to the Gabon region of equatorial Africa, only found in the wild in five locations. So Pseudohydrosme belongs to a group known as the geophytic aroids. So if you've ever been around to see our beautiful Titan arum, the Morphophallus titanum, you can kind of see a few similarities in their shape because these guys are sort of cousin species. You can see it's got this beautiful sort of gramophone structure. The outer is a sort of greeny yellow. And this inner throat is a deep, almost purpley dark black maroon that, I'm not sure you can smell it through the camera, is giving off a kind of funky cabbage and cheese foot smell, which is really present for where I'm sitting. In the wild, it would be pollinated by carrion flies. They're attracted to this sort of blood dark red. That would fool them into thinking that there's a dead animal for them to go and have a slurp and lay their maggoty eggs in. Pseudohydrosme gabonensis is incredibly rare, and this is the first time it's ever flowered on display in the UK. Just below the surface of the pot, there is a thick, almost kind of wrinkly bulb. Uh, it's not a true bulb. This is more the, the stem of the plant, just sitting just below the surface. And when the plant isn't producing this massive flower, it's instead growing a very thin, spindly, single leaf, which you can see from there is divided into a bunch of little leaflets. The stem itself is spined and a little bit mottled to discourage predation. So as I said, uh, the Pseudohydrosme is a member of the Aroid or Araceae group, and some of you at home might be familiar with this little guy, the Anthurium or Flamingo flower, that's commonly available and many of you might have in your collections at home. And you wouldn't think that these two would be related on initial look, but if you look closely at this sort of central uh, spike in the center of the flower here, if you were to get right up close to this guy, you would see that same sort of structure growing up through the center of this big old tube which kind of reveals their genetic relationship. So Pseudohydrosme has been classified by the IUCN Red List as endangered in the wild. It's, as I said earlier, only found in about five locations out in Gabon, and it's been declared extinct from some of its historic range. Because it grows as a tuber underneath the ground, there's not too much visible uh, throughout most of the year, and it's very easy for the land to be cleared free of vegetation for agriculture, urban development, and for a lot of these guys to be removed alongside. Over the last year or so, Kew's been expanding their collection of geophytic araceae. There's always the Titan Arum, which absolutely everybody loves, that we've got working on 50, I think, at the moment. But yeah, the more of these guys that we can have and the more variety, the better ex-situ conservation and the more we can show off to the public.